very good morning see here i'm starting the session listen so in the previous session we have seen some examples on special operators like in operator not in operator between and not between and these operators we have seen see here stop talking and listen See, Oracle SQL is providing these operators, arithmetic operators. So, using these arithmetic operators, we can perform arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction. Next, relational operators. To compare two values, we use these relational operators. Next, logical operators to write multiple conditions. to perform logical and operation or or operation or not operation to perform logical operations we use logical operators and using the special operator special operators like in we compare column value with list of values between and we compare column value with a range of values and next one is what like observe i'm explaining about like operator now Listen. So to understand about like operator, I am giving some examples here. Okay. So if you understand this example very easily, you can understand about the like operator. so see here if you don't have interest you can go outside why are you talking man you so those who don't have interest you can go outside you are here means please don't talk please cooperate with me see this like operator for example here one folder is there here one folder is there for example i am taking is oracle 11 a oracle 6 pm folder now my requirement is i want to search for the particular file which name is started with s there is our requirement for example in our windows operating system search dialog box is there in the search dialog box we write like this to search for all jpg files for jpg files what is the extension dot jpg so to replace any file name what we write star we write so star dot jpg means what for which files it will search now okay uh, for all jpg files it will search for all jpg files for all jpg files it will search now so here star means any file name that can have for example i am writing like this s star dot jpg what is the meaning of this one uh, okay first it searches for jpg files which are started with s s first character must be s remaining any characters that can have so here star we are using to replace zero or any number of characters <coughs> that is the point we have to understand for example so it searches for here star dot jpg means it searches for all jpg files s star dot jpg means searches for the files which are which searches for jpg files which are started with s which are started with s so s star dot jpg means it searches for jpg files which are started with s okay 
so here star means star replaces zero or any number of characters so for example there is one file is there that is started with s s dot jpg is there so this file also it displays with that you can understand that star means zero characters or any number of characters star replaces zero or any number of characters for example we want to search for particular file we don't know the first character but we know the second character second character is a okay we don't know the first character but we know the second character and we don't know the remaining characters at that time in windows operating system we searches like this question mark question mark replaces one character i am talking about windows operating system here not about our oracle in the windows operating system generally if you want to search for all jpg files write star dot jpg if you want to search for jpg files which are started with s we write s star dot jpg okay for example second character we know first character we don't know so to replace one character what we have to write question mark okay so here if we use star here the what happens here the file names which are having middle character as a those will be displayed okay so the star means what is the meaning of this one it can replace any number of characters but what is our requirement now we want to replace one character only to replace one character what we have to write question mark a after a first character can be any character to replace one character write question mark second character must be a after a any number of characters that can have so we write like this so it searches for jpg files which are having second character as a which have second character as a that is the meaning of this one so this is in windows operating system in windows operating system to search for particular files we write like this so the point to understand here is here star means star replaces any number of characters zero or any number of characters and question mark replaces one character question mark replaces one character so star replaces zero or any number of characters question mark replaces one character so this star and question mark are called wild card characters this is star and question mark are called wild card characters we call them as the wild card characters which are used for searching okay so now let me show it practically observe here there is one folder is there see in the d drive in the d drive there is one folder is there oracle 6 pm folder is there oracle 6 pm folder is there okay or otherwise oracle 7 am folder is there in this now my requirement is i want to search for the files okay which are started with the i want to search for the files which are started with the uh, p character so i am writing like this p star dot all are sql files so i am writing like this p star dot sql okay observe here first character must be p after that any number of characters that can have and extension must be sql okay if you write p star dot star means what is the meaning here any extension any extension okay if file is started with p we want to get so i am writing p star dot sql here p star dot sql means it displays the files it searches for the files which file name is started with p now observe here it is displaying c d okay r t all it is displaying but what is our requirement now p star dot sql the files which are started with p we want to get observe is it giving only the files which are started with p or not just observe here see here 
it is giving only the files which are started with p observe okay package demo package demo procedure demo like this it is displaying observe here these file names are started with p the files which are started with p those only it is displaying others it is not displaying okay the files which are started with p only those files it is displaying observe for example i am writing like this i am writing d star dot sql d star dot sql d star dot sql oh, what is the meaning of this one the files which are started with d will be searched okay so observe here these files it is displaying so these files are started with a d character okay now my requirement is now my requirement is i want to search for as r okay so what would write question mark second character must be r after that any number of characters that can have okay so question mark r star dot sql okay we are writing like this so now first character any character that can have but second character must be r after that any number of characters that can have okay to replace one character we are using what question mark to replace any number of characters what we are using star observe here see the files which are having second character as r it is giving now see here in the trigger demo second character r all these files are having second character as r observe here procedure in the procedure second character is r first character can be anyone trp anyone but second character must be r okay now for example i am writing like this i am writing first character can be anyone second character can be anyone but third character must be c after that any number of characters that can have okay so now what is the meaning of this one the files which are having third character as c will be displayed okay observe now the files okay maybe no files are there it is not giving sorry jpg we have given jpg files are not there all sql files are there there okay so sql so double question mark c star dot sql observe here so the files which are having third character as c see here in the package third character is what c in the exception handling third character is what c observe so finally the conclusion is in our operating system this question mark is used to replace one character and star is used to replace zero or any number of characters is this point clear if you understand this you can understand easily about like operator so this like operator is used to compare column value is used to compare column value with text pattern okay so these are the text patterns we are using in the operating system so like that with the text pattern if you want to compare the column value we use like operator and here we use two wild card characters in oracle sql in oracle sql we use two wild card characters we use two wild card characters those are those are see first one is first one is underscore in our windows we are using question mark in our oracle we are using underscore underscore is just like question mark underscore replaces how many characters underscore replaces how many characters one character question mark replaces how many characters one cat that is in the operating system but in our oracle like question mark we are using what underscore underscore replaces one character so next next one their star is there like star here percentage is there this percentage replaces zero or any number of characters zero or any number of characters so to replace zero or any number of characters we use percentage to replace one character 
Piyush underscore. Okay. Now, see some examples to understand about like operator. Observe. I want to display the employee records. Whose name is started with S. This is our requirement. We want to display the employee records whose name is started with S. So, if the employee name started with S, we want to get that record. That is our requirement. Okay. So, first character must be S, remaining any number of characters that can have. So, what we have to write? First character must be S, remaining any number of characters that can have. To replace any number of characters, what we have to write? Percentage. That's it. So, like S percentage. Okay. Which column value? E name column value. So, a name like, let me write the syntax of this like operator, like operator syntax. Okay, column name, we compare with the text pattern. Column name, like, after like, give the text pattern here. So, column value, we are comparing with the text pattern. Column value, we are comparing with the text pattern here. Just a minute. Okay. See examples on like. So here a name, column value. If it is matching with this pattern, that displays the record. First character must be S. After that, any number of characters that can have. For example, here percentage means it replaces zero or any number of characters. For example, here employee names are there. One employee name is Okay, Alan, next employee name is Smith, next employee name is Ward, next employee name is Scott, okay, next employee name is uh, Blake, next employee name is S, like this data is there. Now, if we write like this, which employee names it will display now? The employee names which are started with S, it will display Smith or not? Yes. Okay, is it display Alan? No. Why? It is not started with S. So implicitly what is happening here? Every employee name will be compared with this text pattern. So Allen value, it is comparing with S percentage here. Okay. So first character is or not? No, this will not be displayed. Okay. So in the Smith, first character is what? S. So this is matching with this pattern. So Smith will be displayed. Okay. In the word, first character is or not? No. In the Scott, first character is or not? Yes, this will be displayed. So remaining any number of characters that can have. Okay, in the Blake first character is or not? No. In the next one, first character is or not? Yes. After that, any number of characters that can have zero characters also. So with this, you can S will be displayed. So Scott will be displayed here and S will be displayed. With this, you can understand that percentage replaces zero characters also because it is displaying S. Okay. Percentage replaces zero or any number of characters. Smith, Scott, and S records it is displayed. So, query we didn't write completely. Just let me write select. If you want all columns, write select star from which table? EMP. Where? Where? E name like S percentage. So, this is the query. I'm opening a scale plus observe here. See, I'm giving username. Our best schema name is Oracle 9 a.m. Password is Narish IT. I'm setting page size 200 and line size 200. And I'm clearing the screen. Observe here. So we want here EMP table is there. Select star from EMP. EMP table has total how many rows are there? Observe here. 14 rows are there. Okay. In the 14 rows and eight columns are there. We want to get the employee records whose name is started with S. So what we are writing here? Uh, where? Uh, e name like 
s percentage and remember that don't write s small letter here for string comparison case sensitive if you write s small percentage here s with with a small letter s there is no employee name okay it will display no row selected observe here we should be careful okay string comparison here like is comparing only like is just like comparison operator only it is comparing employee name with this text pattern for string comparison it is case sensitive remember this point okay so now i am writing select star from emp where a name like i am giving first letter capital letter s after that any number of characters that can have it is displaying the employee records whose names are started with s observe here smith and scott it is displaying okay now my requirement is i want to display the employee records whose names are ended with s display the employee records whose names are ended with s this is our requirement if name is ended with s we want to display that record for example here some employee names are there some employee names are there okay like smith is there is smith ended with s no i we don't want to get this one for example james is there in the james is it ended with s yes so like this here any number of characters we want to display any number of characters we want to replace but last character must be s to replace any number of characters which wild card character we have to use percentage percentage s that's it right percentage s so we are writing select select star from emp where e name like where e name like percentage s so now it displays the employee records whose names are ended with s observe so e name like percentage s <coughs> see here so jones ended with s adams ended with s james ended with s the employee names which are ended with s it is displaying next my requirement is display the employee records whose names are having a character whose names are having whose names are having a character this is our requirement okay here he is not asking is it a should be in the beginning or a should be in the end a should be in the middle he is not specifying anything that name should have a that's it for example here employee names are there like smith employee name is there smith employee name is there smith is it having a character no we don't want to get this okay for example there is allen name is there is it having a character yes we want to get this okay james is it having a here yes but here a is the beginning character here a is the second character here that name should have a alphabet that's it that is our requirement okay for example i am taking miller is it having a no we don't want to get this for example i am taking ward is it having a yes this we want okay if the name is having a character we want to get that one okay that is our requirement so what we have right here select star from emp where e name like where e name like so in the beginning any number of characters that can have zero or any number of characters zero or any number of characters okay to replace zero or any number of characters so what we have right percentage okay after that what we have right a after that any number of characters that can have any number of characters that can have what we have right percentage so percentage a percentage like percentage a 
percentage. That's it. Okay, so this one only we are writing here. So select star from EMP where a name like percentage a percentage. If the name is having a character, that will be displayed. Okay, observe here. Total seven names are having a here. Observe in the allen a character is there or not? Yes, but in the beginning place. So with this, you can understand that percentage replaces zero characters also. Okay, so here second character is a in the Martin second character is a observe in the Blake third character in the Clark also third character in the Adams also third character and in the James second character the implied names which are having a character it is displaying. Now, for example, see, I want to display the employee records. whose name is started and ended with whose name is started and ended with D. So starting character must be D and ending character must be D in the begin in the middle, any number of characters that can have. Okay. For example, assume that here implied names not there. Okay. Smith. Is Smith started with D? No. Is it ended with D? No. For example, David name is there. Is it started with D? Yes. Is it ended with D? Yes. Okay. So this kind of names we want to get. For example, I'm writing Dravid. Okay. Dravid started with D, ended with D. So if starting letter and ending letter are D, we want to display those records. Okay. So what we have right here? Select. Uh, so here, like what we have read, first character must be D. After that, any number of characters that can have, that can have three characters or four characters, not required, percentage. Okay, last character must be D. What we have read here? D percentage D. So select star from EMP, where E name like, where E name like D percentage D. So the implied names which are started and ended with the D, it will display now. I'm copying this. Okay, observe here. So actually it is not having this data. It is not having any name which are started and ended with the D. The data is not there. So that's why it is not displaying anything here. What it is telling? No row selected. No implies is there with the starting letter D and ending letter D. Let me insert some records here. One record I'm inserting. Insert into, in which table we want to insert? MP. We want to insert limited column values. To insert limited column values, we must specify the column names. If you want to insert all values, directly write values. But we want to insert only employee number, employee name. Two values only. So write like this. Employee number, A name, values. We are giving values here. For example, I'm giving employee number as one, two, three, four. And employee name I'm giving as David. David name I'm giving. So now record is inserted. I want to save this data. So to save the data, which command we have to use? Command. Okay, now the same query again we are writing. Observe here. Select star from EMP where E name like D percentage D. Observe what it is displaying. David record it is displaying. So here starting letter is D and ending letter is D. Okay, next. Now you, you have to tell this, display the employee records, which are ended with, which are ended with RD. Display the employee records, okay, whose names are ended with, whose names are, whose names are ended with RD. Last two characters must be RD. Uh. What do we have to write? Select star from EMP where in name like okay percentage RD that's it last two characters must be RD that's it good now I'm copying this observe here the implied names which are ended with RD it will display okay see here 
what in the word what are the last two characters are they in the food what are the last two characters are they so in the beginning any number of characters that can have last two characters must be or d okay now next my requirement is i want to display the employee records whose names are having whose names are having second character second character as a this is our requirement so we want to display the employee records whose names are having second character as a second character must be a for example here employee names are there here employee names are there like smith is there in the smith is second character a no here allen is there in the allen is second character a no here james is there is second character a yes this one we want ward is second character a this one we want so the employees whose names are having second character as a that we want okay uh, so first character can be any character to replace one character to replace one character what we have to use sorry underscore underscore okay so i'm telling question mark question mark is in the windows operating system in our oracle underscore percentage only underscore first character to replace one character underscore underscore means that replaces one character and second character must be a after that any number of characters that can have okay in the james three characters are there in the word two characters are there to replace any number of characters percentage so underscore a percentage we have to write so we are writing select star from emp where e name like where e name like first character any character that can have underscore second character must be a after that any number of characters that can have okay percentage observe here it displays the employee records whose name is having second character as a observe see in the word second character is a first character w second character is a in the martin second character a first character m okay in the james second character a in the david second character a so the employee names which are having second character as a it is display okay now my requirement is you have to tell this i want to display the employee records display the employee records whose names are having third character as r ah uh, what we have right ah uh, select star from emp ah uh, where e name like ah uh, underscore underscore r percentage good that's it so to replace one character one underscore to replace two characters two underscores third character must be r after that any number of characters that can have so underscore underscore r percentage observe here what is the output it is giving up character observe r in the martin third character r okay so in the turner third character r and in the fourth third character r so first two characters any characters that can have but third character must be r here third characters are r here so to replace one character one underscore to replace two characters two underscores third character must be r after that any number of characters that can have so we are writing percentage that's it next now our requirement is display all employee records display all employee records except so or otherwise display all employee records in which employee names are not started with s employee names are not started with s we want to display the employee records whose names are not started with s 
So display imply records whose names are not started with S. So instead of using like, what we have to use now? Not like. Oh, so right here, select star from. Select star from EMP where a name not like where a name not like s percentage so the employee names which are not started with s will be displayed see here so in all these employee names okay the, all these names are not started with s smith record is not there first record smith record is not there observe because smith started with s and scott record is also not there because scott started with s so except the names which are not started with S, it is display. Okay. Next. Another question. Display the employee records who are getting who are getting three digit salary. Some employees are getting three digit salary there. So who are getting three digit salary? We want to get now. That is our requirement. Observe here. I am opening salary column. Select the employee number, e name, salary from EMP. EMP. Observe here. So this employee salary is what? James salary is what? Observe. 950. How many digits? Three digits. Okay. In remaining all four digits are there. And Smith is Smith salary is what? 800. How many digits? Three digits. The employee who is getting three digits salary we want to get now. Okay. Uh, what we have to write? Select star from uh, EMP where salary column, salary column value we want to compare with the text pattern now like uh, underscore, underscore, underscore. So to replace three characters now, okay, to replace three characters, right, underscore, underscore, underscore. Okay, that's it. So three underscores we have to write. Okay, so can we use percentage here? No, percentage means any number of characters. Four digit characters also it will display. Five digits also it will display. So we want three digit salaries only. So underscore one digit will be replaced. Underscore another digit. Underscore another digit. So three digits. Three underscores we are giving. Okay, observe now. See here. So two employees are getting three digit salary. Those three digit salary employees records it is display. Observe. Okay. Now. See here. Next question. Display the employee records whose names are having four characters. Display the employee records whose names are whose names are having four characters. Ah, what we have to read? Select star from EMP where where e name like. Four underscores, four underscores. That's it. Okay, I'm copying this. So to replace four characters, four underscores were it. Okay, so observe here. Ward name is having four characters. King name is having four characters. Ford name is having four characters. So we want to display. We want to display the employee records whose name is having five characters. What we have to write? Five underscores. So if you write five underscores, the implied names which are having five characters, it is displaying. Observe there is many names are having five characters here. Okay. Now display the employee records who joined in first nine days in the month. Display the employee records who joined in first nine days in the month. So in the higher date, see one employee joined in the on 17th day of May 2021. So he joined on which day? 17th day. We don't want this record. 
for example one employee joined on 8th december 2019 so this employee joined in first 9 days or not yes so if the employee is joined in first 9 days in the month we want to display that record that is our requirement okay so to identify first 9 days okay so for date two digits we want but first character is what observe here zero from 11 onwards first character is zero or not from 11 date onwards first character is zero or not no okay 11 date is there 12 date is there 13 date is there so all these are not started with zero for example if employee joined on first zero one employee joined on second zero two employee joined on third zero three so up to nine it is prefixed with zero so what is our requirement now we want to display the employee records who joined in first nine days so first character must be zero after that any number of characters that can have so what we have to write zero percentage very simple observe here let me show the higher date values here so select e name comma higher date from amp observe the higher date values here so in the 17 17 means Not comes under first nine days. Twenty. These are not comes under first nine days. Observe here two. It comes under first nine days. One comes under first nine days. Nine comes under first nine days. All these are prefixed with zero. Observe. So first character must be zero. After that, any number of characters that can have any number of characters that can have to replace any number of characters. What we are writing? Percentage. So zero percentage we are writing. Okay. so what we are writing select employee name comma higher date from emp where higher date like where higher date like where higher date like first character must be zero after that any number of characters that can have Okay, observe now the employees who are joined in first nine days. It is displaying. Observe here, all these are prefixed with zero. Observe, all these are started with zero here. Okay, next, we want to display the employee records who joined in nineteen eighty two. So same query we can write in many styles. Is done our requirement any style you can use. So display the employee records who joined in 1982. So same thing who joined in 1982. So this query already we have written by using between and. In the 1982, what is the first date? First January 1982. What is the last date? If higher date falls under this range, between and will be used. The same thing we are also writing by using like operator. So, nineteen eighty two means year last two digits will be year last two digits will be eighty two here. If last two digits are eighty two, then that should display the record. So, in the beginning, any number of characters that can have, but last two characters must be eighty two. In the beginning, any number of characters that can have, but last two characters must be eighty two. So, what should write? Percentage eighty two. Okay, so we are writing like this. Select employee name, hire date from EMP, where hire date like hire date like in the beginning any number of characters that can have. But last two characters must be eighty two. So this is the query. Observe here. It displays employee records who joined in eighty two. Copying this. See, these two employees are joined in nineteen eighty two. Two records it is displaying. Observe. so like this we can use like operator and not like operator so we want to display the employee records who are not joined in 1982 we want so what we are write here not like 
okay for example we want to display the employee records last example we want to display the employee records who are joined in 1980 and 1982 okay if sequential years are there we can use between and now can you use between and now no okay if you want to use between and again you on between and again you have to write the two conditions there okay so between 1st january 1980 and 31st january 1980 or again between and we have to write two between ands we have to write or otherwise two like operators also you can write like this so select e name comma hire date from emp where where ah uh, what we have to write hire date hire date like percentage percentage 80 percentage 80 uh or 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 ah uh, hire date like okay can we write like this can we write like this can we write like this hire date like percentage 80 or percentage 82 can you write like this no you can write this for example if your requirement is the employees whose salary is greater than 2000 and less than 3000 if you want to write that one are you writing like this salary greater than 2000 and salary less than 3000 can you write are you writing like this no are you are you are not writing like this okay why because with which value that has to compare this 3000 that cannot understand same thing here also so can you write salary greater than 2000 and less than 3000 no you cannot write in the same way hire date like percentage 80 or percentage 82 you cannot write so you have to compare hire date column value with this pattern or again date column value so in the below here what we are writing salary less than 3000 salary value we are comparing with 3000 similarly hire date value we are comparing with percentage 82 so two times we need to write so now it displays the employee records who joined in 80 or 82 it will display now observe here one employee joined in 80 and two employees are joined in 82 so this is about like not like operators like not like or over okay last two cases i am explaining for example sometimes names may have underscores for example if you take gmail id if you take gmail id okay so one gmail id is there Like A B C D underscore E F G H at the rate gmail dot com. Here underscore is there, sir. So the mail IDs which are having underscores, I want to display. Okay, that is our requirement now. Okay, so the generally, if you want to get the employee names which are having a character. if you want to get the employee names which are having a character for that what we are writing percentage a percentage we are writing okay the names which are having underscore we want now so to replace any number of characters percentage underscore percentage we are writing can we write like this we cannot write because underscore means what it understands wild card character okay that understands which is having one character so it displays all names now because all names are having one character that is a problem in such type of situations we have to write like this so very simple just like in c language in c language we are writing like this print f double quote an output screen i want to print hello in the double quotes an output screen we want to print hello in the double quotes okay now so can we write double quote hello double quote like this okay can we write like this no 
then what we have to do if you want to print a hello in the double quotes what we have to do slash slash double quote okay so c language is over okay you are learning advanced java also but you are not advanced okay <laughs> see slash double quote means what it will print double quote okay another slash double quote means what it will print double quote so why we are using slash double code why we are not using double code here because double code has specific meaning because of double code double code means what compiler understand string so you are telling that this is not string please print a double code to tell like that you are using slash double code here in the same way here also our requirement is we want to display the employee names which are having underscore we want to display the names which are having underscore so if we write percentage underscore percentage here what it is understanding underscore has specific meaning here it's a wild card character that is un understanding that has to replace single character but we have to tell that okay the names which are having underscore that has to give so write slash underscore this is just like escape sequence what we have write here slash underscore okay so see here there are no names are there i am inserting some names here so insert into emp table in the emp table we are inserting some values here for example i am giving one value okay i am giving raj kumar here raj underscore kumar i am giving so generally names will not be like this for our understanding purpose i am taking like this in one name i am giving one underscore okay one two three five i am giving and in one name i am giving percentage in one name one two three six raj percentage kumar okay so i want to save this table data what we are writing commit open the table data now select select star from select star from emp observe here here two names are having one name is having underscore one name is having percentage my requirement is i want to get the employee names i want to get the employee names which are having underscores now so for that here in the raj underscore kumar underscore is there so this name we want so we are writing like this select e name from emp where e name like okay so beginning any number of characters that can have so if the name is having underscore if the name is having a we want to get the records so for that we are writing percentage a percentage if the name is having a it is giving that may be in the beginning or in the middle or in the end that is giving similarly if the name is having underscore we want to get can we write like this percentage underscore percentage no because underscore is having specific meaning underscore means that replaces one character so in the beginning any number of characters that can have in the middle one character that should have in the ending any number of characters that can have that understands like that every name has is having one character or any number of characters so it is displaying all names observe 70 names it is displaying because here underscore means that is understanding like this is one wild card character so we have to tell that that is not wild card character we have to tell that one so for that what we are write here slash okay after that we have to tell that that slash is escape sequence so for that write escape slash here escape slash observe now what is displaying observe the employee names which are having underscore it is displaying observe we are telling that this slash is escape sequence this is not underscore is not wild card character now this is slash underscore means the names which are having underscore that should display we are telling that slash means this is one escape sequence so now you tell me 
I want to display the employee records. So display the employee records whose names are having underscore. Display the employee records whose names are having whose names are having underscore. Okay. Uh, what we are writing? Select star from EMP uh, where e name like uh, percentage slash underscore percentage uh, escape slash. Okay. Use reverse slash only. Don't use forward slash here. Okay. Next. Another question. Display the employee records whose names are having percentage whose names are having whose names are having percentage character uh, so for example we are writing like this okay so whose names are having a we want whose names are having a means what we are writing percentage a percentage like that whose names are having percentage we want can we write like this Percentage, percentage, percentage. Can we write like this? Characters. So all names will be displayed now. Again, all names will be displayed. Observe. So percentage replaces any number of characters. So all names it is displaying, all 17 rows it is displaying. So we cannot write like that. So we want to get the employee records which are having percentage. What we have write here? Slash percentage. Slash percentage is the escape sequence. We have to tell that slash is escape sequence. So write escape slash. That's it. So specify slash in the single quotes. I'm copying this. Now it displays the implied records whose names are having percentage. See here. What it is displaying? Observe here. Raj percentage mark. So that not contain underscore sign percentages just for understanding purpose. I explain. So if any columns are there, like mail IDs, sometimes some columns may be there at that time. It is useful. Okay. Now this is about like, not like, like, not like operators are over. Next operator is, is null. Now my requirement is I want to display the Employee records. Observe here. Before going to discuss about is null, let me talk about null here. What is null actually? So first we have to know what is null. Listen carefully. I'm explaining clearly now. Listen. Null means. What is this null? See. Null means empty or blank. Empty or blank. When the value is unknown, when the value is unknown, we insert when the value is unknown, then we insert null value. Then we insert null value. So when the value is unknown, then we insert the null value. And remember one point, null is not equals to zero or space. Null is not equals to zero, null is not equals to space. Null means empty, blank. Okay, see here, for example, we are writing like this. Here, marks of subject one, we are entering. Marks of subject one, we are entering. One student got 70 marks. And another student, I am entering null value here. Null means we to insert that we are writing null, but it displays as blank. Blank will be displayed. So this is the null value. Null keyword we write, but it displays blank to us. Okay. And after this, one student got zero, zero marks. So here zero and null both are different. This student attended the exam and he has given blank answer sheet, white paper he has given. So how many marks he got? Zero. 
but this student didn't attend the exam so we are giving the value as null okay absent is different from getting marks zero or we don't know these values or the student is absent we are giving null value so generally when the value is unknown we give null value and this null is not equals to zero and null is not equals to space for example here we are writing like this okay here space and here this is blank is space equals to null no here one character is there space here this is what null blank null is not equals to zero and null is not equals to space okay so ef card introduced 12 rules among those 12 rules this is one of the rules there should be difference between null and zero and there should be difference between null and space okay for string values which data type we are using varchar2 data type we are using so this varchar2 data type introduced in oracle 7 version this one introduced in oracle 7 version this varchar2 introduced so before varchar2 what we are using sir we were using varchar only but that varchar was not showing difference between zero and null zero space and null so with that they were getting some problems so that's why this varchar they replaced with varchar 2 so why varchar 2 sir means before varchar 2 varchar was there but this varchar was not showing difference between zero and null space and null that's why in the oracle 7 version they introduced this varchar 2 so now later they changed the meaning of varchar data type also nowadays varchar and varchar 2 both acts like same but oracle company is suggesting that don't use varchar 2 data type it is deprecated data type means in the future versions they may remove this one or they may change the behavior of varchar so that's why the convention is don't use varchar as of now varchar is working like varchar 2 only but oracle company is suggesting that don't use varchar data type it is deprecated in the future versions we may remove or we may change the purpose of this so that's why we must use what varchar 2 only if anyone is getting doubt why 2 means the first six versions varchar was there that was not showing the difference between zero and null space and null that's why they introduced this varchar 2 data type so in the first six versions only varchar was there okay so null means null is not equals to zero and null is not equals to space when the value is unknown when we don't know the value we insert this null value and remember one more point okay see for example our requirement is we want listen carefully i am giving example to understand this column is there. salary column is there commission column is data okay observe now see here here commission column is there some employees are getting commission and some employees are not getting the commission see is first employee getting the commission no this is what this is the null value null means empty blank is second employee getting the commission yes 300 is third employee getting the commission yes fourth employee not getting the commission what is this value null null okay 1400 so some employees are getting commission some employees are not getting commission here so some null values are there my requirement is i want to display the employee records whose commission is 500 i want to display the employee records whose commission is 500 for second employee commission 300 third employee commission 500 fifth employee commission 1400 we want to display the employee records who are getting commission as 500 ah uh, what we are right ah uh, select Select. Uh, I'm retrieving only commission column. Okay. Enum commission from from EMP. Where? Ah, uh, commission equals to commission equals to 
Okay, so it displays the employee records whose commission is 500 now. Okay, observe here only ward employee is getting 500 commission. Only ward employee, ward employee is getting 500 commission. So, ward employee record it is displayed. Okay, now my requirement is I want to display the employee records whose commission is null. So, I'm writing like this select. Okay, employee name commission okay, from EMP where commission, for example, the employees who are getting 500, the employees whose commission is 500, it is displayed. The employees whose commission is null, we want to get. So, what we have to write here? Commission equals to null. If you write like this, it will display no rows selected. Observe here. Okay, what you are expecting the employees whose commission is null, you want to get, but what it is giving, no rows selected. With this, we can understand that for null comparison, we cannot use equals to operator. We must use is null operator. Which operator we have to use? Is null operator. You cannot use equals to operator for null comparison. So, commission column value will be compared with null. That is the purpose of is null. So, can we use equals to operator for null comparison? No. So, the same query I am writing here. Observe, select a name, comma, commission from EMP, where commission is null. Where commission is null. So, the employees whose commission is null, those names it is giving. Observe here. Okay. Total 17 records are there. Three employees are getting commission. 14 employees are not getting commission. Observe here. Null values. See? Null values. Null values. Null values. So, e for null comparison, we cannot use equals to. We must use is null. For null comparison, for null comparison, we cannot use equals to operator. We cannot use equals operator. We must use, we must use is null. Is null we have to use. Is null or is not null based on our requirement. And one more point. Listen. Listen carefully. See. If null is participated in the expression, Definitely result will be null. Remember this. Okay. See. For example, what is 10 plus 20 plus 30 value? Uh, 60. What is 10 plus null plus 30 value? Null. If null is participating in the operation, result will be null. Remember this. This point is very important. When you are calculating, if you are getting wrong results like null values, you may get confused. At that time, you can understand that if null is participating in the operation, definitely result will be null. Okay. For example, we are writing like this. Okay. 10 minus 10 minus null into 20. I'm writing. What is the result here? Null. If null is participating in the operation, result will be definitely null only. Okay. So, if null is participated in operation, definitely result will be null. If null is participated in operation, then result will be null only. This is important point. For example, observe here. Observe carefully. See here. I want to display total salary. Here, employee names are there. Salary columns are there. Commission values are there. Observe. I want to calculate the total salary, how much he is getting. Okay. See here. This Allen is getting 1600 salary plus 
three hundred commission. Total salary, how much he is getting? Nineteen hundred. This ward employee twelve fifty salary is getting and commission five hundred is getting. Okay, seventeen, seventeen fifty. Okay, now this Smith is getting how much salary? Eight hundred only. Eight hundred salary. Okay, is not getting commission. So total salary is what? Eight hundred. So this employee is getting two thousand nine seventy five only. So what we have to do now? Salary plus commission value. We want to get as the total salary. This is our requirement. We want to calculate total salary now. So total salary means salary plus commission. Okay, observe now. We are writing like this. So select. Employee name, salary, comma commission, salary plus commission. We are writing, comma, salary plus commission, salary plus commission. We want to get alias name as the total salary. So total salary from which table? Empty table. Observe carefully here. Observe carefully. What is the total salary of Smith? It is displaying. Observe here for first employee. What is the total salary? It is displaying. Observe here. Null because you, we are calculating salary plus commission. Commission value is null here. Something plus null result is what? Null. Sixteen hundred plus three hundred result is what? Nineteen hundred. It is okay. But two thousand nine seventy five plus null result it is giving as null. So if null is participated in the operation, definitely result will be null. The solution is we use NVL function. We replace null value with some other value. This part we discuss in the Uh, built-in functions. Don't bother about that. Just my intention is, if null is participating in the operation, result will be null only. To tell that, I have written this one. Okay. So these are the important points regarding null. Okay. Now this null can be inserted in two styles. Null value can be inserted in two styles. Null value can be inserted in two ways. Null value can be inserted in two ways. What are those two ways? First one is, first one is using null, using null keyword, using null keyword we can insert. Second one is by inserting limited column values. Second one is by inserting limited column values. By inserting limited column values. Okay, so first way, let me create one table here. So create table. Okay, we want to create one table, customer table here. So in the customer table, first field is ID, number type, and second field is second field is C name, customer name. Two type and third field is CCT. Backer, observe carefully. We are inserting the records now. Insert into first way. First way of inserting null. First way we are using null keyword. Using null keyword. Using null keyword we are inserting the null values. Observe. So before this, let me insert one more record. Insert into uh, customer. Insert into customer values. I am giving one a H Y D. This is the record. So first record will be inserted. Next in the second record, we want to insert the record here. Insert into customer values. Values. First value I am giving one. Second value a. I don't know his city name. So what we are giving now? Null to give the null value. Which keyword we are using? Null keyword. So this is a way of giving null value. Second way. Second way. Second way is using by inserting limited column values. By inserting limited column values. So total three columns are there. We want to insert only two column values. Ah, uh, what we have to write? Insert into table name is what customer. Give the column list also. Total three columns are there. We want to give customer ID and customer name. 
Ashman name only. So we must use the column list here. Okay, to B I am giving third value we are not giving, so that value will be implicitly inserted as null. That's it. Two ways are there. So these are the two ways of inserting nulls. So now observe here. Just I'm copying these queries. Just observe how is it inserting null values or not. Just observe. So we want to create one customer table. So this is the query. Sorry, not copied. See here, what it is telling? Table created. Customer table is created with three fields. I want to insert one record here. This insert query I'm copying. Okay, we are giving all three values. Does it insert this record? Yes, record is inserted. Okay, next one more record we are inserting. Observe now. But here we are using null keyword. Third value is given as null. Null using null keyword we are inserting. Next another way. Second way. So total three columns are there. We are inserting only two column values. Okay, third one will be automatically inserted as the null. Okay, observe now. Open the table to save the table data. What we are writing? Commit to open the table data. Right, select a uh, star from customer. Observe here what it is displaying. See here, here this null is inserted. Here also null is inserted. Okay, next. So this is the way of inserting nulls. Okay. Next is null is not null examples. I am giving this is about null. Null topic is over. So just now we created EMP table. Observe in the EMP table we inserted some records. Observe David record we inserted. What is the job value? Null. We inserted limited column values. Remaining values inserted as nulls. Okay. We have given only employee number, employee name. Remaining values inserted as nulls. We didn't give these many null keywords. Just we inserted limited column values. Okay. Now display the employee records who are getting who are getting commission. This is our requirement. The employees who are getting commission, those employee records we want to get. Observe here. Some employees are getting commission. Some employees are not getting commission. Observe. So, is first employee getting the commission? No. Is second employee getting the commission? Yes. This first employee is not getting the commission means commission value is null. Okay. The is second employee is getting the commission? Yes. So, is commission value is what? Not null. If commission value is not null, display. Okay, what is our requirement now? We want to display the employee records who are getting the commission. Means these three records we want. These employees are getting the commission. Those are getting commission means value will not be null. Those are not getting commission means value will be null. So the employees who are not getting the commission, sorry, who are getting the commission we want to get now. The employees who are getting the commission. Commission they are getting means value will not be null. Now uh, what we have tried? Select a name comma commission from EMP, ah, uh, where commission is not null. Okay, commission is not null. Like this, we are right. So, if commission value is not null, it displays the record. Observe here. So, select employee name, comma commission from EMP, where commission is not null. Okay, observe how many employees are getting commission? Three employees. So these commission values are not null. It is displayed. So what is happening here? Just to try to understand. We have written like this. We have written where where commission is not null. Okay, so. This commission value will be compared with not null. 
ओके सो इज नल नॉट नल नो कंडीशन फॉल्स 300 इज 300 नॉट नल यस कंडीशन ट्रू दिस विल बी कंडीशन ट्रू दिस विल बी डिस्प्लेड इज 500 नॉट नल यस ओके इज नल नॉट नल नो फॉल्स ओके इज 1400 नॉट नल यस दिस रिकॉर्ड विल बी डिस्प्लेड इज नल नॉट नल फॉल्स this record will not be displayed so like this the employees who are getting the commission means if commission value not null it is displayed now last example so with this i stop the session and all operators will be over here see display the employee records whose commission is null now oh, what we have right select star from or star or e name comma commission from emp table where where commission can we write like this if we write like this what it will display no rows selected okay so with this we can understand that for null comparison for null comparison we cannot use equals to for null comparison we cannot use equals to okay so for this what we have to write now select e name comma commission from emp table where commission is null so commission column value we are comparing with the null value so if commission value is null it displays the record observe see here so these implies or commission values are null so commission value it is comparing with the null value so we are writing like this where commission is null like this we are writing okay okay so this value is null so null is null condition true this value not null okay so condition false okay 300 is null no false 500 is null false null is null yes condition true so the implies whose commission is null it is displayed so all operators are over okay so if any one concatenation operator is there that i cover in the next session so tomorrow i finish this operators topic after that we discuss about dml commands dml commands insert update delete are there that we discuss in the next session thank you everyone see you tomorrow